Hello, Natasha. Hello, Chris. Um, Chris, are we also going to add coupons? Yes, uh, coupons. I'm going to join okay. from my own, own a personal okay. account. Okay, I'm going to invite her. I see her profile right here. So guys, we're waiting for one more person. We need all the expertise. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> How are you? Great. How's everyone doing? Good. Good. Okay, Always so I'm fun. just quickly, I'm just quickly going to open up the floor by telling everyone, um, welcome. This is going to be our content creation 101 for all the ladies who has not done their entry videos as yet. We are going to give a few pointers, a little bit of expertise from the base. This is our social media team, uh, indirect media. So I think Chris Kapans, maybe you can introduce yourself and we can take it from there. Yeah, sure sure. Thing. I'll let Kapana go first. Ladies awesome. first. Hi, everybody. So I'm part of the digital team at Miss South Africa. So we're behind everything that you see in terms of content creation. So we're here tonight as indirect media to just assist you guys on some tips, you know, on how to ensure that your content and your entry videos that you need to submit are exactly what it needs to be. Yes. Hello, everyone. I'm I'm Christian, I'm the CEO of Indirect Media, and Indirect Media, for those who do not know, we handle all of Miss South Africa's social media, content creation, so photos, videos, websites, you name it, we do it. Okay. So you don't want to be in the bad side, so if you guys are <laughs> finalists or you do progress, you will be working with them a lot. So listen up when they speak because they are going to give really, really important tips and tricks. I feel like I can maybe go into exactly what this, uh, you know, video consists of, what we are requiring when you are going to post this um, video on social media. So I do have my little tablet here because I know that I need to just make sure I'm covering all the uh, pointers. So first of all, the video needs to be one minute long. So I do want to ask, maybe if someone in, in the question box is going to ask this question, Kapans, Christian, can it be in any way longer or is the limit one minute? So um, uh, the limit is one minute. Um, that is just the rule. Um, so keep it below one minute. And remember, if you do progress to Miss South Africa and you are on stage or you do go overseas, you only have 30 seconds. So really mm -hmm. already now get to yourself to where you can tell someone or answer a question within 60 seconds. Yeah, that's the truth. I, I, I think, sorry, Kaponzi, no, you can go. Worry. So now I was just saying that also highlighting from what Chris just mentioned that it is also important to keep it as impactful as possible. So the shorter, sometimes the better, because you don't want to find yourself also rambling and missing certain points that you probably want to share. So keeping it shorter will keep it impactful. So that's very key that it stays within that limit. And I think upon it, that's exactly what I also wanted to say. If you think about being a judge going through all these entries, that mm. first 10 seconds, pretty much they know. Like yes. even without them actually thinking they know, like they already have an inclination. Do I like this person? Is she going to progress? So make sure it is short and sweet. Like Chris also mentioned, when you do progress, guys, you need to, you can't ramble. You can't stand <laughs> on stage speaking. So I see this kind of as a little learning curve. Okay, so the next one is it needs to be filmed in color. I think for mm -hmm. judges, they really want to see authentically, naturally who you are. Yes. Um, I am going to get to uh, later on a few things I also want to mention, but color is very important. And I think one thing that we all can agree on is natural light. Like you just want to yes. have that. I want to be like, uh, what should really look like? <laughs> uh, no, definitely. Okay, the next one is landscape mode. Landscape mode. So that is when you tilt your phone um, horizontal. Horizontal. Yes. Right? So that's okay, correct. so got it. I always think of when I look at the ocean, the, 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 the horizon. horizon. So then I'm like horizontal. <laughs> so the next one is posted on social media platforms that you currently have. Remember to tag the Miss South Africa page because uh, Kapono and Chris is going to see this and obviously use the hashtag miss sa 2024 because when they sift through the entries they go into that hashtag yes. and all of the entry videos pop up there they go to the tag section of a miss south africa a miss south africa account so it defeats the purpose if you forget to hashtag and and obviously tag miss south africa 
Yeah, and also Crown Chasers page. That's also another important Crown page Chasers. for you guys to. Yes. <laughs> now that I almost forget about Crown Chasers. Yes. Oh, this takes me back to last year. I'm sitting here, I'm like, yep, yeah, I remember yeah. this. Surprise then the, the last two is this one is very important. Your account needs to be public. Mm -hmm. Your account needs to be public. Like up until Wednesday when the entries close, I think even after, keep it public because otherwise they can't browse through your social media. I always see social media as a resume. Like if you think of people who have LinkedIn, this is my LinkedIn. It's my social media. I feel like uh, uh, someone can really easily go on your page and already see who you are. That's and true. then the last one is copy paste that link. So you will see, Capons, is it the three dots right top? Yes. It's, yeah, it's so, also great yeah, for direct message. So right top of that post will be three dots. And you're going to tap on it. It's going to say copy link. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it pops mm -hmm. up at the bottom. Did that change? Yeah, the there's a share option, yeah. Okay. And then when you share, yeah, okay. you can select copy link. And then make sure, yeah, that you copy that link into your entry form. Um, I know a lot of people have been asking that it is important that if you do have more than one social media platform that you do share it to that. It is great to be able to see that you promote it on other platforms as well. But um, if you only have one account, then you or rather one social media platform, then you can use the social media platform that you have. But as Natasha has already highlighted, make sure that it is public. So Capons, um, is there anything out? There was one question, sorry, yeah, that I just want to repeat. So the video doesn't count when it's not in landscape mode. Someone is asking that. Well, I um, it would be preferred that it is in horizontal or landscape mode. Um, that's obviously one of the requirements. And I think obviously following a brief already now is very key in that regard. So just ensuring that it is. Um, I'm not sure if they'll disqualify per se, but it is just important that you ensure that it is landscape so that also if it is to be used in future, that it is within the correct dimensions. Yep. Yeah. Guys, if you do have any questions, there is a specific question box. Please leave it there so that we can afterwards just run through the questions and just see if there is, you know, a little bit of, um, how can I say, like, uncertainty that, that we can just tackle those questions. Indirect will also just choose a few. This is one question I want to answer so long. So views, comments, the amount of followers you have do not count. Yeah when it comes mm -hmm. to choosing a finalist or a potential finalist. Mm -hmm. So you can have a hundred followers, you can have 50 or you can have 50,000. That is going to have no effect on the end result. I quickly just want to mention, because I saw, you know, this is the thing when you're on social media, you see things and you're like, oh, just get off socials, don't look. But on the entry form, there is this one segment saying, walking through your room where you sleep. Guys, this is not to see your room or your uh, area or your space. Yes. I think for the people sifting through this, and remember, this is not compulsory. This is really just to see how you organically walk through a space and how you speak. I don't know if it makes sense, but like not staying static, like, hi, my name is Natasha Bad. I'm 26 from da, da da but kind of how you present yourself. And I think people always take it, I think we really look into it as if they are going to judge, oh, how does my bedding look or my lamp or my interior designing skills? Not at all. This is really just to see the way that you, you carry yourself, yes. the way that you express yourself, your personality. It's really to just warm you up a little bit uh, to see that personal side of you. So this is not at all to judge your space by any means. So it's also not compulsory. So don't stress too much about the little things. One thing I do want to mention, the organization is really, really, they understand we are all human. There is no level of we need perfection and nothing less. No, we want to just see you authentically, transparent, personality, exactly. raw, real. Exactly. Exactly. Has you know, you want to, yeah, no, for sure. Because at the end of the day, you want to be able to portray yourself in a light that other people can connect with you. So whichever way that you can present yourself, that people can connect with you because that's what matters at the end of the day. And also it doesn't need to be like we keep mentioning and keep emphasizing that it doesn't have to be professional to the extreme or you can simply use your phone because at the end of the day, it's you who will make that 
impact, you know, that will catch the people's attention and catch whoever will be reviewing your video and so forth. So that will be the key aspect of it. It's all about you and your personality. I, got, I don't think anybody can even like emphasize it more than enough. You know, it's really, really about you. So trying your best to also avoid anything that can be distracting in the video that takes away from you that will play a very key role. Yeah. Um, I feel like I'm going to, Kaponza, we discussed all the points that we are going to go through. And I feel like I'm so passionate about this segment because so many girls have asked me, what can I do for my entry video? Because they really just want to get through to that in-person round, which I totally mm. agree. Like I remember competing in COVID. It was really hard for me to connect via, I would say, a video or Zoom, which many girls just really want to make it past that next round to, to be in person and almost have that energy mm. with the judges. Mm. So I think that's why we hammer on this entry video. It's not to say, listen, I'm going to spill the beans. Last year... I refilled my video <laughs> so many times to a point where I got annoyed with myself. I was like, Natasha, this is not cool. Just speak from the heart, say what you want to say. But yeah. I was being so hard on myself and now reflecting back, I wish I could just speak from the heart, be myself, just be warm and laugh when I want to laugh at myself. And I think that's one point that I can really give out of my experience is the warmer and the more engaging, the better. Yeah. Um, Kapons, can I maybe just quickly share on ways I prepared for my video and then I'm gonna, I do have a few questions for indirect media because we also want, we want to have that professionalism and that like top tier video. So I'm going <laughs> to ask questions and you guys can give your expertise. Nope. Um, I mentioned it a little bit in the video that uh, Miss South Africa has shared is there's so many things that can contribute to this video. The way you feel, how confident you feel, it really does convey on a video. So however you dress, I'm not saying go to the shops and buy something, don't do that. But if you feel confident in a certain way, make sure you look that way because it will show on video. Yes. Don't be uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Don't put yourself in something where you're like, I can't really move. And just, if you feel good in a t-shirt, wear that t-shirt. Mm -hmm. I think for me, a really important one is natural light. Yes. Do not heavily make up yourself. You never want to pitch up in person and not look the same. I think that's one thing I just really want to mention for the ladies out there. Mm -hmm. Yes, do yourself justice. You really want to show up. This is a job interview, but don't go to an extent where when you pitch up in person, it's almost like you can't live up to what you've done in this video or the pictures. That's just a reminder out there. Keep it very natural. Keep it raw. Keep it real. Because at, at a certain point, no one's going to be able to edit the zits out and the stuff. You're just going to have to be. So let it be. Um, I, think, I think another thing is um, make sure your audio is crisp and clear because the message that's going to, to have to get across to the judges is extremely important. The why, why you're entering for Miss South Africa. And when you tap into that why, you do not have to ramble. Just make sure that it's done with conviction, with confidence, with this is why I'm here. I'm ready to serve. I'm ready to step into this position. And mm. I think when we think of this video, it's like, oh, she mentioned this. This is a very valid point. I'm also going to maybe do that. Don't. Don't do that. Do what's true to you. So good light, good posture, obviously, just body language. It's not too complicated, to be, to be very honest. Like you can even, I think some ladies also do selfie video mode. As long as you have good light, uh, light is the most important thing. Uh, and it doesn't need to be a video light. Like Natasha mentioned, natural light does the thing. And again, audio, close the door. You know, we don't want to hear the hardy la little time in the background, as annoying as they are. Um, but it's the small things and don't overcomplicate it. And I think that's the one thing I've noticed in the past goes wrong is people try to record their video. They're not happy with what they say, and they try to dub their voice over the existing video recording. And it just looks messy and it's just unnecessary. And as Natasha mentioned, even do a selfie video. I mean, it's different. It might catch the judge's eye. So, um, Christian, I do agree with you there because I really do um 
I feel more comfortable with a selfie video. I speak a lot on my stories and I feel like that's also very personal. Like it, it comes across more warm. Uh, someone asks you, what should we wear? Anything you feel confident in. Someone is asking you, should it be in English? Preferably, please. <laughs> yes, you know, because obviously um, there'll be a lot of people who'll be watching it and reviewing it and so forth. So you want your message to be able to come across clearly for everyone to be able to understand in case they don't speak your language. So yes, that will be best. Another one I quickly want to um, just mention is try and do your video without any cuts and editing, I think. Chris Kupano, what's your opinion on that? Well, you know me when we form, I always say, you know, one take, one one day. But we always want to try. Chang, I never get it right. <laughs> <laughs> you want to if avoid. It makes anyone feel better, yeah. I never get it right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, ideally try and do it in one take um, because it just looks 10 times better than trying to cut it. I know there's it's more a lot organic. of hard. It's more organic and mm. you get your message across and just flow to your video. And more importantly, this flow to your own story. That's true. Uh, and then uh, another thing, what point should be in the video? So let's quickly run through the musts. Just quickly. Hi, my name is Natasha Ubar, your name. I'm from city of Tuane, Gauteng. I think we should put it there. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 26 years old. I am a fashion designer. I have a company called Natalia Jeffries. If you're studying something, what you are studying, and then why you want to be Miss South Africa. What do you stand for? What do you resonate with? What is your personal experience? Why do you want to serve the people of South Africa? And then I think that's it. Is that all that needs to be in the video? Yeah, no, definitely. Those are key because also you don't really have a lot of time. So you want to highlight the most important aspects, which is obviously introducing yourself and the energy that you portray in those few minutes, seconds that you have will be key. And yeah, just giving a good overall roundup of why you want to become a South Africa, you know, and what you stand for. With an em okay, so, emphasis so, on the why. On the why. So then my <laughs> questions to indirect um technical any technical tips does it have to be with your phone professional pictures any tips i'm going to leave it over to to indirect all right i will start i'll start with uh video and then kupono can handle the photos when it comes to video your phone is perfect you don't need to hire a videographer you don't need a professional studio setup you don't need a massive background or anything you want to ensure that the video focuses on you. You don't want the video to focus on your background. So again, like Natasha mentioned in earlier, focus on good light, neutral background, a nice and quiet place, where there's no echo, but there's also no external noise. And on your phone, one take, don't cut it, don't edit it. You know, just almost plug and play. It needs to be, when judges view it, the video needs to come across naturally and have a natural flow to it. And then for photos, Kubana. Yeah. Uh, and then for photos, I mean, depending on what phone you're using, usually having like a portrait mode um, helps a lot. Remember with your photos that you need to submit one portrait and then one full body and that it's not necessarily compulsory for you to submit any swimsuit um, pictures or anything of that kind. It will mainly be the two pictures that are required as per the brief on the entry form. But yeah, with pictures, any tips would just be um, definitely like good lighting. Make sure that your posture is good. And technically, if you are using like an iPhone, but even if you're using an Android phone, um, helping with user utilizing like um the portrait mode assists a lot to just clear out the background and ensure that the focus is on you make sure like chris mentioned before that if you can just even wipe your screen it makes all the difference when we big are one, taking big, pictures big, so the smallest thing, thing. <laughs> wipe your camera <laughs> 
<laughs> make sure <laughs> you wipe your camera <laughs> and that the focus is on you if you need to double tap on the screen on your phone to just ensure there's also options sometimes to either enhance the lighting if it does seem a bit bad but ensure that the background also it's not too distracting that you're the focus point at the end of the day so that you're able to capture it perfectly um yeah preferably does not need to be in a studio but just a clean clear background will help a lot yeah and just to elaborate on that when we say a neutral background it's a wall a white literally wall, what even what my covers behind me it's yeah really fine that's neutral or in my setup is way too busy like just something like natasha that's perfect so then another question someone has asked you which is very valid any background noise you don't need to have background noise but if they want want, want to i mean if it i mean that's to the theme but it's yeah. a tricky one no I wouldn't that's it. Tricky. just I would make search. sure listen just make sure that that background music does not take away from your voice mm. you do Very you, if you want to make it unique you do you but make sure it's not um taking away from your voice you really want your voice to be powerful and convey that message yeah. i think yeah. a few other things heavy makeup especially pictures guys i'm just being hard to hot really hard to hot do not edit your pictures don't face tune be you really be you and and i really feel like this message is so important because when you pitch up in person you need to look like yourself you need to represent who you are don't face tune don't edit sorry i just had to say it no i had to Please. say it i'm the one pulling <laughs> ripping off the band-aid but really just yes you can do yourself justice make sure it's the most beautiful angle and and vibes and laughing and yes, yes. we want that but don't don't make yourself look different than what you really look like no. then you won't be a disadvantage in any way if you submit submit more than two pictures or there will no at no, be no advantage if you submit more than two pictures um and then it says it's not compulsory to submit any bikini pictures thank goodness because i'm pale <laughs> so no bikini pictures necessary um how to take great pictures using your phone wipe that camera guys Big one. <laughs> wipe it stand in good natural light i want to give you guys a little bit of a tip because i almost went into chris and kapana almost like this is the apps you can use to edit your videos to cut and sound and i was like we're not doing that but when it comes to natural light what i usually do to test the lights i put my phone on on selfie mode and i literally hold it up in front of myself and i do kind of a rotation 360 and i just look what the light on my face looks like and where in, in what direction it looks the best yeah. it really always works for me to just see what hits like okay we can see clearly yeah um so you can just put it on selfie mode you just rotate and and take a clear look what looks the best what light looks the best on your face definitely um definitely a good tip as well as obviously always like facing towards the light so even if you're using natural light towards a window so as long as it's like facing to even if you just open your curtains letting that natural light in let it face you um it will always make a huge difference um i see a question here someone asking can the video be less than one minute like maybe 45 to 50 seconds yes it definitely can as long as you're not exceeding the one minute and trying to keep it within the minutes i think that's definitely fine um for it to be less than a minute well i'm so Seeing someone say, says, yeah, I took my pictures outside just in front of a few leaves. Um, is that still fine? I'm still in focus, but isn't it neutral? Okay, listen, I literally dragged my two pot plants on my patio. No joke. You'll see it in my video. And I dragged my two pot plants together to make like a little greenery wall. So, Mujilani Stresni, that's perfect. If you want some little bit of greenery ahead, you do you that's all i could do with what i had so that's really fine then you can still wear makeup i'm not saying you can't wear makeup just make sure that you look the best you mm -hmm. um let's quickly go into the questions uh da -da -da. what do you need what do you need for the walk through your space video so what i did last year i think that's the only way i can kind of explain it is 
take us through your space where you sleep, which I know it feels very personal. It's not compulsory. If you maybe want to uh, do something else, we can always make sure if that's possible. But let me just mention this again. This is not to judge the space that you sleep in, what it looks like in any way. This is to see your personality, the way that you convey yourself, the way that you express yourself, the more raw you, when you walk and talk, because what I think everyone needs to remember when you make it through as a finalist, there's many instances where they pull you aside and they ask you questions or take us through this water bottle. And you just need to be able to be organic, be yourself, be raw. And I think that's the approach they want on this bedroom video. It's in no way, shape or form to say, girl, why do you have beige bedding? Okay, let's quickly go through the questions. Um, Kapons, Chris, do you guys want to take a few from those questions? Um, Can you view them? Yeah, there is one here that says, do I need to mention my company name or must I mention who I'm working for? Um, you definitely don't need to. It's just more of what career line or what you're doing in life so that people can have an idea of what you're focusing. You don't need to mention the details of your personal life as to where you're working and what, what you're working or whatever. But it's just mainly um, just to give a background of what you do in life and what you're all about so that you don't need to go into the details of the company and so forth. I don't know if you guys want, would, want to add to that, job. Yeah. I'll just add one thing, or not add, but make an observation, and that is, I think a lot of people overcomplicate the application process. They overthink it and understand why. It's a very big step that you're taking. But when it comes to the actual creation, submission, and so forth, the simple rule of keep it simple is so important. Like, don't overthink it, don't overcomplicate it. Always go back to, is this you? And if it is, then submit that. Don't try and mimic another person's entry video or mimic something that someone did last year. Or try and go find Natasha's entry video from last year and then try and do exactly that and also mm. dress in yellow. And don't do that. Always make sure that whatever you submit is you. That's the most important part. Don't overthink it. You know, if your video is now 58 seconds and you think it needs to be 60 seconds, don't reform it. So, yeah, keep it simple. Um, someone's asking, yeah. Can someone with braces enter? Yes. So can someone with a skin condition enter? Yes. Can someone that's engaged enter? Yes. <laughs> um, let's quickly see if there's another one. My license expired. You do not need a license to win Miss South Africa. Uh, my entry video is more than one minute long. Guys, please try and keep it to one minute. Uh, the vetting process, they go through hundreds and hundreds of videos. You do not want to lose the attention. So make sure it's punchy, short, sweet, and vibrant. Correct. Let's quickly see if there's anything else. Just on the social media part, um, you only need to post on one social media account that's actually it touched on this earlier but you only need to post on one of the platforms at least but the more the merrier the better someone is asking you do you have to have a large following multiple social media platforms no you do no. not you are not being judged on your following your engagement nothing and then someone is asking can you enter if you're 18 no it's from 20 to 29 you just need to not turn 30 in the year that you win yeah. Yes. Um, do the views on the entry video matter? Absolutely not. Uh, uh, I think, can we maybe ask this question? Because since this is a little bit of a, 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 you know, just tips and tricks, what kind of content is appropriate for the competition? And I think I want you guys to touch on this because I personally don't feel like you need to go and try and be someone else in order to enter. Um, Keep it what you usually do. I do want to mention content creation is a very big part in your role as Miss South Africa. You need to be able to make videos. You need to be able to create content for brands. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm not saying, yes, go make five posts with this and that. No, just be yourself. Don't try and be something else just because you're now entering. 
Correct. Okay. And yeah, like I think that's a very key point because um, that's why we do emphasize on you not focusing too much on trying to find videographers and photographers as well. If you can, go ahead and do it. It's also not something that will be taken away from you. But it is important to be able to start now already having the mindset of creating your own content. Because as Natasha has already mentioned, that it is going to be a very key role as you do go on the journey of becoming Miss South Africa, even as a finalist. So having the capacity and stamina basically to be able to start doing it now will help you a lot in the journey ahead because there's a lot that's going to require you to be able to take your own content and have your own vision for things when it comes to content creation and to also not make it tedious like it should be fun you know it should just generally be you even in what you're posting at the moment should just generally be all about you and what you stand for so just whatever ways that best showcase who you are but in content creation and showing parts of the world or people what you do in your daily life is also something that can help but making it part of your daily life basically like as if you're talking to your best friend or something and sharing your day with your best friend but don't make it too tedious or let it stress you out i do you want to touch on this one um, but I first want to ask you guys before I answer, but voiceovers, I don't think with entry videos or the space, it, it, I don't think it's meant to be voiceovers. Am I being, is that right? Yeah, we have, have seen that there are a couple of entries that do have voiceovers and so forth. It's not something we've taken away, but it would be more I prefer if you are like speaking directly to the yeah. camera because you connect with people better when it's your face, you speaking, yeah. um, and it's just gonna have, be more impactful, like we mentioned in the beginning. So, yeah, like it, if you can and you haven't shot your entry video yet, do avoid it and rather focus on you speaking directly to the camera. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys want to add. Personally, um, I think voiceovers, is Steve Wagner or Shanae maybe on this live to just pick up <laughs> a, a, a No, I did ask, before I, I did say ask. something. <laughs> okay. Um, because that, I mean, personally, I think voiceovers take away a lot with connecting with your audience because when mm -hmm. I speak and I have body language and I look into the camera, it's a lot different, um, a lot different. So I would say stay away from the voiceovers, but I assume it's not, you are allowed. <laughs> yeah. If you haven't shot it yet, stay away. <laughs> Do I need to become a part of an agency to become a SA? No. But I think let's stick this this uh, live just to content creation for your entry, yeah. for your pictures, for your video. Is there any other questions? Chris, Capona, is there anything you want to touch on that you guys have experienced uh, that you would advise the ladies? Um, Chris? Uh, <laughs> I mean, there, there is so much. Um, I think read the requirements and the entry form in detail. Uh, you're going to be sent a lot of brief as a Miss South Africa um, and even as a finalist. So do read just the basics. Go back to the basics. Did you read your entry form? Did you read the requirements? Just cover the basics. Um, but yeah, I mean, Natasha, there is a question that pops up constantly about um, being fluent in English. And I think it relates more to them creating content where you might feel like you're not fluent in English, do you feel like that is going to be a hindrance or what is your advice on that? Yo. <laughs> um, listen, you want to be able to communicate with all South Africans. Uh, yes, you should be proud of your home language. I'm Afrikaans, that's my first language. So sometimes I can't even get to an English word. And I think judges even see that it's really nice when you're just being honest about it and saying, what's that word again? What's that word? So just own it because majority of the time being Miss South Africa, you are going to have to speak English. I went to a school where uh, the kids were speaking different languages. It wasn't just Koza and Zulu. It was quite a few languages. So to keep it to something that everyone can understand and communicate with is, is preferably um, 
it's preferable because you think of the people sifting through these entries might not speak your first language and you don't want that to hinder you from progressing to the next phase. True. Um, personally, from my end, I think in general, like any other tips would just be, I think obviously everybody has said this multiple times, but when you're taking pictures or your video, um, just ensure that you find ways and elements that just portray who you are. So even if it's in the way you may dress, whether it be for the video, don't try and overcomplicate it or try and look at Natasha's sense of style and try to fit that. It's like whatever makes someone as comfortable, you know, in the way that they are sitting and the way that they are speaking and so forth so if you're doing things that are out of your comfort zone in a sense of trying to be like someone else it will not work so just ensure your pictures and your video just highlight any way that you can ensure that this is Gobano, this is Krishan, this is Natasha, this is who this person is make sure that you can bring it forth in your content I'll just quickly um, say, sorry, I need to clarify this one because I do not want to be the one responsible for giving any information that's not right. Um, guys, it is 20 to 30 years old. I think you just can't turn 31 when you are Miss South Africa. Can someone just clarify, is that right? So obviously, we the content seems to be marked out as content <laughs> done at um, uh, So is it till 30? But... No, yeah, fine. So 20 then... till 30. Yeah. Yes, yes, it's on the website, and so yes. go to the Miss South Africa website, there's an FAQ section, and on that section is a lot of the questions being asked here is being answered there, and there's detailed lawyer-like sentences that will explain to you exactly um, what the rules are. We are the creatives, so sometimes we do miss the details. I think we're going to end off with this one. It just says, if I have access to a camera, is it better to film with a camera or is the phone more relatable? This is really personal preference. Mm -hmm. Really, there is just absolutely no like, yes, maybe do this if you have the choice. No, it's really personal preference. I even feel sometimes creating my content, my phone just even looks better. So it's up to you. Awesome. All right. Yeah. I think we've covered a hey. lot. I feel yeah. like we were thorough. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we, did, we are going to um, save this live. So if you just want yes. to uh, you know, play it again and just uh, while you are thinking of creating your video, uh, watch this again. We will be saving it. And then also want to mention, don't wait until the last day to enter because there's going to be a lot of entry streaming in and you don't want your entry to just be a mix in all of it. So get it out there ASAP. The entries do close Wednesday. 6 p.m. Yes. I think, I believe. Yes, yep. it is 6 p.m. Okay. It is 6 p.m. So it's going to be, yeah. So make sure you download the app or visit our website to enter, guys. And yeah, we really wish you all the best in the journey and are excited mm -hmm. to see all the entries that are already coming in right now. Um, it's been really amazing. So yeah, all to everyone who's still coming in and going to enter and take that leap of faith. We're rooting for you guys and really, really excited for your journey and all the best, you know. It's something you should be proud of to even make that decision for yourself and to stand out there and show publicly what you want to stand for. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you so much for joining in. And then also, don't be scared. Don't be fearful because the people on this, uh, you know, on social media is very supportive. There is a lot of pages that love the Miss South Africa entries. So, you know, you will get a lot of love and support. Good luck. Sending you love. And, yeah, we'll be saving this video. Thank you. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.